Hello there and welcome to this video. My name's Riley and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I thought I'd do make a, a video that's a bit different from my usual cryptocurrency reviews and make a video on my top three cryptocurrencies under a dollar. So I'm not going to waste any time. This is going to be a pretty short video compared to my other video videos. And without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So my first cryptocurrency under $1 is none other than Stellar Lumens. Now, for those who don't know or haven't seen my previous video on Stellar, there's a couple of parts to Stellar and Stellar Lumens. And first of all is the foundation. It's a non-for-profit organization which aims to bring low-cost financial services to basically everyone in the world, but they're targeting people in the developing world and people who are fighting poverty. And Stellar is the actual protocol. It's an open source protocol on it for value exchange and DApp development, which is decentralized applications for those who don't know. Um, and why do I like Stellar? Well, it has really low fees. It has really fast transaction times, the basically instant transactions, and it's built in decentralized exchange allows for liquid trading of any type of asset. And if you don't really understand what I just said, I suggest you go and watch my Stellar Lumens video as it will give you a greater knowledge of what I'm talking about. But keep in mind, these are all um, features which give it um, a good, uh, I guess you could say, uh, advantage over other cryptocurrencies of the similar type and targeting the same niche. Also, another reason why I love Stellar Lumens is because it has such a very strong team and it's also, like I said, targeting a niche which can bring about really, really substantial change, in especially in developing countries. Like, we talk about the potential use cases for blockchain and mass adoption and all that, but that's really just in our, our Western part of the world. We're not talking about what cryptocurrency was originally made for, which was to help people in third world countries, in developing countries, in people with dictatorships and things like that. And Stellar Lumens, I think, will play a very big role in that. Also, Stellar is consistently partnering and gaining new uh, creditable investors. And for an example, they have recently partnered with IBM to launch the Stellar Network on their platform. Now, I, I mean, my second cryptocurrency is Verge. And so Verge is a decentralized currency and it's a blockchain platform which focuses on mainly delivering secure private transactions. So it's a privacy coin. And why do I like Verge? Well, first of all, it has a 30 second block time, which is much faster than obviously Bitcoin, but even other privacy coins, for example, Pivx, I think from memory Pivx is either um, 60 seconds or it's two minutes. I'm pretty sure it's actually two minutes. And also, Verge can also support up to 100 transactions per second, which is much larger than other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which can only support 7 transactions per second. Verge also supports a number of different proof-of-work mining algorithms, and some of which are on CPU, some are on GPU, and some are on ASIC chips. So it creates a really nice, decentralized level playing field in terms of mining. The Verge network also allows for you to conceal your IP address over Tor, the onion router is what it's called on the Verge network. And it's a, it's a global network which um, lets people basically browse the internet anonymously. So that's one of the things which a lot, uh, well, I don't think any other cryptocurrency has really been targeting. Um, is We do have the privacy in transactions and things like that, but we don't really have the privacy uh, to the certain extent which Verge is trying to offer in our browsing and things like that. <clears throat> Unless you're talking about um, some of the decentralized web applications. Also, Verge will be the first ever privacy coin to implement smart contract functionality. And this will be set on a side chain in order to prevent congestion on the network. And this is another big thing. Smart contracts open up the cryptocurrency to a whole new world of applications and a whole new world of use cases. So that's a really big thing which Verge has for it. Also, the Wraith protocol, which is something which is launching uh, before December 31st, so sometime around this week, um, people will give the choice, uh, people are allowed to use uh, stealth addresses in order to send private transactions 
or if they don't want to send private transactions, they can just use a public normal um, transaction. For example, maybe someone wants to keep a record of what their payments are. And my third cryptocurrency under $1 is none other than Cardano. And Cardano is a project which is aiming to develop a smart contract platform which does not have the current flaws of other platforms such as Ethereum. And it brings new technological features with it to do this. One of the features of Cardano is it has a proof of a stake algorithm, sorry, which is called Ouroboros, um, and it has never been compromised and is much more secure than others. For example, Ethereum. Also, Cardano has a really strong team going for it, including Charles Hoskinson, which was a he was the Ethereum co-founder along with Vitalik Buterin. So he's a really respected guy in the cryptocurrency space. And also, it's targeting a very wide range of applications and has other technologies such as side chains and um, elliptical curve cryptography, which is basically a way of making the uh, cryptocurrency and the blockchain platform quantum resistant. Although that's not really, I guess, relevant now, it will definitely be something which will be very relevant over the next decade or so. One of the things which makes Cardano really good is it's very scalable, and this is one of the pro um, the problems which Ethereum and other platforms, other older platforms, I should say, are facing at the moment. And the proof of stake, the Ouroboros, and consensus algorithms allow for slot leaders, which are basically, in short, they're comparable to miners on a Bitcoin network or a proof of uh, proof of work network. It allows them to create and split their own blockchains which will reduce the workload among the network. So it'll reduce congestion and allow for further scalability and more transactions to go through. And they're also looking into sharding as it is a possibility, which will add a, hu a huge, um, a huge, uh, like another huge gap of scalability between Cardano and other cryptos of the same application. So, like I said, it's just going to be a short video, this one. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'll be bringing out other videos like this along with my normal cryptocurrency review videos very soon. And I'll catch you all later.